Welcome to another installment of Three Principles Definitions, where we take three principles terms, make them understandable, and bring them alive for you. Three principles terms in jargon might seem flabbergasting at first, but if you get these definitions sorted in your head, those brain-numbing 3P talks that you've been trying to digest will actually start to make sense. Each Three Principles Definitions installment will consist of a commonly used Three Principles word or phrase. We will try our very best to specifically define it. We will also try our very best to specifically define what it is not. I'll try to make you use it in a sentence, but if I can't do that, we'll try to find someone else using it in a sentence for you. Let's get started. Today's word is mind. Here is a great example of a word that can get really misused and misunderstood. For most people, the word mind conjures up images of the brain, or for those a bit more sophisticated, the word mind might conjure up images of thoughts or ideas, mental activity. But in the three principles metaphor, mind refers to something much, much bigger. In order to help peel you away from misunderstanding mind, some people attach other words to it. Universal mind, divine mind, the principle of mind, the power of mind. Mind certainly isn't a word being used to refer to your or anyone else's personal mind. That's for sure. Specifically defined, mind is the energy of all things. Mind is the source of everything. Mind is everything. Anything created resides within mind. Mind exists even before creation, even before time. Inconceivable! 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 You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. I know. That's really, really beyond the ability of our little brains to comprehend. So here's a hint. In order for creation to exist, it needs mind. But mind doesn't need anything to exist. Another hint. Mind is a shapeless, endless, infinite nothingness. But mind is also all physical and mental form. A paradox. Some refer to mind as the energy of life. Some refer to it as the source of life. Some refer to it as God. It's kind of undefinable, and there is nothing in this world with which to compare it to, but we can all get a sense that it is there. So why do 3P teachers use the word mind to refer to this energy? Because a mind is specifically something that is awake, alive, involved, and intelligent. The secret lies in the mind. Truth can never change. And it's very simple. Look for mind. Universal mind. Another name for universal mind is God. Because what you call God is the universal intelligence of all things, whether in form or formless. The goal of this video was not to convince you that mind exists. Rather, the goal is to define mind as it is being used in the Three Principles community. Now, when you go and listen to Three Principles talks, videos, audios, read the books, you'll have a better sense of what they're talking about.